Welcome back. I want to take a look at the Studio Series laser beak here. First, I think Studio Series or these core class, whatever whatever class this figure is that I've wanted to pick up. Um, not bad actually. Uh, got it in car mode here. Have an issue or two with this, but I guess starting off accessories, the gun. So. It looks like it's got those little two slots there, but that's for something else. But it has that one there in the middle, it just pegs into. Pretty nice there. Um, saying this, because this is basically just a small down scale of a bumblebee gun. Well, same as figure. I'm actually, I won't be surprised if, for whatever reason, they make a, a core class bumblebee. Just remold this. Don't know how many people would buy it, but easy repaint for Hasbro. Issues with the mold. So this one in particular has some black paint. Was it just there? Was it more on the inside there? Somewhere some black paint was. Guess it's just there. It's fine, doesn't really bother me. But then the wheel transforming it. Don't know whether I just have it transformed wrong. Do I, maybe I need to insert this hand different. Try and fix this here. Maybe that'll fix it. So it's the way that arm is. So you get the... Well, there's another issue, but wheels pop up. Semi fixed that problem, if I even got to talk about it, but it was the wheel was crooked, which it still kind of is. I don't know why. So I guess there's a certain way you're supposed to line the arms up under here. They tab into the arm panel or the, the car panel there, but it's just kind of a mess. I don't know why it won't straighten out. These, the wheel spots, the shoulder joint snap off really easily. So you gotta be careful with that. Expect in the future a lot of these to be missing those whether it's just mine, but Not too bad can't get some of it to like tab in this The tab right there just can't get it that much. But besides that, I mean it, it's Kind of nice for what it is Had a one of the whatever class they were called back in the day for dark the moon bumblebee and it's Kind of bringing back some memories with this do really like this here taking a closer look at him i uh, guess i'll look more at the gun here talked about that a little bit in the beginning but some nice silver paint there like the, the sculpt the mold of it a lot of detail there so but the main thing looking at this head actually looks pretty nice i like that detail they have in it paint it's this on camera it looks a lot brighter than it actually is it could just be the light but this pink black silver really it on this figure but where, where there's paint, again, I mentioned the black issue earlier with the tire, which there's a little bit in there. Arms keep popping off, and you can see inside there, see some of that, but not really a big deal. So taking a look, articulation, head, which can look that far down for transformation. The arms can, the arms are kind of weird. Since they're on the wheel, they can move certain spots you want them to. So, I mean, technically they can go just about the whole way out. Single joints. Then nothing really at the torso. Legs go out, forward, back, single joints, and then ankle or foot, whatever movement that is. But, I mean, it's a core class figure. You're not really going to expect much. Not too bad from some of the other figures I've seen, I think. There's one of review I watched. Kind of had some pretty bad articulation. So, this seems to be about average for it. And it seems his legs just want to keep tabbing into place there. Which doesn't look bad, but... Some size comparisons. Pretty small. Again, it's that small scale. Here he is besides a Marvel Legends. Then besides the recently reviewed Goldbug. Pretty small figure there. You can see the size comparison between him. Then besides another Transformer, Legacy. See him there. So, I mean, yeah, he's a pretty small, pretty small figure. Put the gun in his hand so you guys can see what that actually looks like. So the silver on the gun's definitely a lot brighter than the arms, but it still doesn't look too bad. Pretty small transformer there. Let me know what you think if you did buy this. I immediately wanted this as soon as they showed it, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.